Hi my shy babies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janicia. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome mama. On my channel, I do makeup tutorials for beginners and also lifestyle videos. Now you guys, it's a new year, so happy new year to you all. I sure hope you guys enjoy your holiday because I sure enjoyed mine. Guys, I have not been on in a while, which you probably already noticed. Just took a little break to get some stuff in order but we're back like we're back we're right here we're right here and we're not going anywhere so i feel like it's best to kickstart this new year with a makeup tutorial like oh my gosh i've been dying to get back in front of the camera and i decided to just do like a tutorial for you guys if you realize i have bare face so absolutely no brows done no nothing done because we're gonna be doing this from scratch like just nothing i feel like we could do that because i haven't filmed a video for you guys in such a long time it's the least we can do right <laughs> Now, if you realize I have not done any brows, my brows are just there. I haven't done any brows and that's because I'm going to be showing you guys a new, um, a new product I've been using. It's not really new, but it's new to my routine. I normally use my pencil, but I've totally, I swear like I've totally changed and I'm just using a dip brow now. I know there is so many mixed opinion about dip brows and in all honesty you just use whatever you're comfortable with. Um, personal preference for me now would be the dip brow and the reason for the dip brow is because it makes my brow look more natural than the pencil if you understand what I'm saying. So that is the reason why I totally switched to the dip brow and also the fact that it lasts us very long. I have been using this for literally a couple of months now and I don't even know if it's halfway. This one is LA Girl Brow and um, this is in the shade Dark Brown. It is so beautiful like i just really really love it for my brow and i'm gonna be using this one on my brow for you guys today so you can see it so you'll be taking your dip brow if you prefer to use one if you don't prefer to use one then go ahead and grab your pencil and just um go through this process i do have pencils but i just again prefer the dip brow <laughs> where did i put my brush I swear these things just escape me. All right, so with using the dip brow, you guys, you're gonna need an angle brush for this. This angle brush is from MSQ. I really like it because the tip part of it here, it's so flat, so it does exactly what I want it to do. So I really love this brush for using in the dip brow. All right, so I'm happy with this and I'm gonna go ahead and carve the brow out. So I'm gonna be using my P. Louise brush, Acid Rain. I'm also gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one is in Yellow Corrector. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this on my hand. And I like to do a little bit of mixing, so I'm gonna be using my P. Louise base this one is a rumor five and i'm gonna put a little bit of that too on my hand mix it in just to get like the perfect color for me and then i'm gonna carve my brow out with that
Um, something I've been practicing is trying to carve my brows out sideways and that's not easy. <laughs> and the reason it's not easy is because I've spent from as long as I can remember using the tip of the brush to carve my brow and now I'm just practicing trying to carve my brows like sideways and when I say sideways I mean like use the side of the brush to carve my brow because you do get a crispier or crisp um carve <laughs> when you do that and i'm like okay i'm struggling like i can do it on just anybody else but for me i feel like i'm struggling like okay let me show you what i mean by i'm struggling so here we go I am so mad right now because this carved good <laughs> and this is the first time like I don't know like I'm gonna see if this is just this made it seem like I was lying <laughs> Oh my gosh, I like it though. It carves good, but I still always go in with the tip of my brush just to clean up and get that extra sharp carve. Like if I'm doing makeup on anybody else, like I don't need to go in because I can see it and I just have more control moving on somebody else's face, but for mine, I don't know what's going on. But I'm going in to just clean up and make that hard even crispier all right guys so from my p louise palette i'm gonna be going into a brown color we're taking this brown unfortunately i don't uh, the second brown trying like this one <laughs> right here and this one right here so i'm gonna be going into those two browns and i'm going into the crease with this one We're just going over the color to intensify it a bit. We're not even blending it yet. Or at least we're lightly blending it. Perfect. Now we're going to be going into the orange color. So the super bright orange color. And I'm going to be taking that on the outer edge of this chocolatey brown.
it's gonna start to look a little scary and that's okay um <laughs> these things normally do that before they get better so i feel like that is good on the orange i'm gonna go back into that chocolatey deep brown and intensify right in this crease some more perfect so we kind of have like a match up and i'm going to go ahead and cut this crease right now okay so to cut my crease what I'm going to be doing is using this spatula right here, a wipes and makeup remover. And that's going to take away all the excess product so I can cut the crease and get a sharp, an extreme sharp cut. So that's the purpose of using um, these products right here and trust me when I say you're gonna get a crisp clean cut crease you are going to normally I'm terrified about these colors but even though it looks rough right now I'm kind of feeling good about it so um, not too worried <laughs> So I'm gonna wrap my wipes into my spatula. I'm gonna just wrap it into the pointy part. You don't have to, but that's just my preference on that. And I'm gonna be creating just like a little stencil outline of where I'm going to remove all the product. So far, this is the best that it's gonna come off. So I'm gonna go into my P. Louise uh, base. I'm gonna be using either 2.5 or base number two. Let me see which one I really like right now. So I grabbed base number two first, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that, taking a little bit on the back of my hand, going into my carving brush, cleaning off the product off that before and then I'm dabbing into this and I'm going to be cutting that crease with this product. taking the other lighter brown and I'm getting that on a slightly fluffier brush and I just want to tap it in to get like a light fade. I think one of my butterfly fell down. So I'm using the orange to kind of combat that brown a little bit like right over here but I'm still making it really light. I don't want it loud. And then there's another um, pinkish, peachish, orange color that I'm going to put right here next to that orange and that white color to get a smooth transition going right here between these two. Yeah, that looks really, really good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. I was worried. <laughs> I was worried, I promise you. I was trusting the process, but I was like, oh my god, what was I doing? So, um, 
I'm just keep on trusting the process from now <laughs> because I can't be telling y'all hey trust the process and I'm over here freaking out but you know none of y'all know this so we I let me go into this white color that I had before and we're gonna put it right there yeah I think we're good <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this entire eye and then I'm gonna come back and we can finish this makeup look together. All right guys, so we're back with both, both eyes completed. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle from my P. Louise palette and I'm just adding that in the inner corner. Nothing too crazy, just a little sparkle. just that <laughs> nothing else so I'm gonna finish up the rest of the face here I'm gonna be going into my black base my, P. my P Louise black base. I'm gonna go in to create a wing a half wing So we're going super thin on the inner corner. All right, so the eyes are completed and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the face now. Okay, so I'm gonna be priming my face and I'm using this primer by Giordano that's prime no pores then all over my face here okay so I'm gonna go in with uh, some more Pia Louise base and this is rumor five and I'm going to Basically, I'm going to be using that to go underneath that waterline just to clean it up and make sure that that black is outlined and beneath it is sharp. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and tab with O. Okay, so I'm going to be going into foundation right now since I do already have my concealer on. I have the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This was, this one is in the shade W7. This one is warm. So I have a damp beauty blender right next to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap that in. I won't be using a brush today, just my beauty blender. One of my earrings fall out and I'm not about to put it back in <laughs> until I'm done, so we're just gonna have to work with that until we're done here. First, I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath the eye with my Sasha Buttercup. Um, setting powder. I'm using such a tiny amount, you guys. Okay, 
Then I'm gonna be adding pressed powder here. Um, I still have my L'Oreal True Match um, pressed powder. It is almost finished and I'm literally just gonna keep using it until it is finished or until I can use it no more. So I'm gonna set the rest of the face. And today I'm gonna to be doing contour. Um, I do have a contour palette but from P. Louise, but I don't wanna use it. I'm actually going to be using the Pro Course palette and I'm using this brown here, this one, the second one at the top over this side. It is extremely beautiful and it does great contour for me. Like it's like the perfect color shade like i just love it <laughs> i literally just love it so much for contour and i'm gonna just try and be careful because i can go overboard with this and i'm not trying to do that so not today However, for my blush, and yes, I'm using blush. I like blush. I don't love it, <laughs> but I like it a little bit. And I'm gonna be using my blush from the P. Louise Pro Brush Blush Palette here. And um, Ooh, it's so hard to choose right now. I think I'm gonna go between Keep It Rosy and Fill In Flushed. So these two at the end, I'm gonna dab between these two to give me like a cute little pinky-ish shade. be good. I'm gonna add a little just a tiny bit of it to my nose. The girl over here be experimenting with stuff. <laughs> like oh my gosh. It's cute though like I don't like it before but like blush is cute. Like wear blush. Okay just go easy on it like go light handed don't go crazy. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my MSQ brushes for highlight and uh, I'm going to put it right here just in that little circle right there I'm just checking if you guys can actually see it Okay, babe, so I'm gonna be grabbing my LA Girl Pro um, lip liner. This is in dark brown, and I'm gonna outline my lips. All right guys, so I have this super bright orange base here. This is in the shade on button and I also have this nude. This is solo nude. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the orange and then a little bit of the nude 
So I'm just gonna take a little bit and kind of dab it. I'll wet the center. No, I love this. Looks so good. Not gonna lie guys, this color looks so good. <laughs> I almost didn't want to put solo nude on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what solo nude does, if it actually makes it better or what. Oh my gosh, yes. Perfect. We are perfect. So I'm gonna add lashes and then we're done. Alright you guys and we are now at the end of the video. This was such a fun tutorial. I like to just create and just be artistic. I really love that and I really appreciate you guys for joining me again on another video here on my channel. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content like this. And also, don't forget to turn on your notification bell because I wouldn't want you to miss anything. Like, I don't want you to miss anything. And I want you guys to never, never forget there is enough hate in this world, so be kind. I love you guys, bye.